Hello beauties and welcome back to my channel and to this get ready with me. I'm gonna try a bunch of new items. Uh, I've gotten some things in PR and most of this I bought myself during Black Friday. I do have a Black Friday haul where I show you all the things that I bought during Black Friday. Which was some items but not as much as it has been before so I feel very proud of myself. Most of this is first impressions, some of it is a second impression uh, and some of it is... Well, actually, some of it I just don't have new things, so... I'm also gonna chat a bit about uh, what's coming in the next, like, two weeks, because I'm gonna be away a bit. Let me zoom us in. Okay, I think that's good. I'm gonna start with a primer. This is the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. Um, for me, this seems like something I could use. I have been having a bit more dry skin, actually. Wait, let me get rid of my... I don't want to get primer on it. This winter I've had more like dry skin and I'm not outdoors that much so I actually don't use uh, like an SPF if I know I'm not gonna go out while it's any kind of sunlight because the sun is setting now and I still haven't left the apartment so I think I'm good. <laughs> Doesn't smell like anything. This was sent to me by Beautylish, which is um, that that is where you find good molecules. I do think it is actually an in-house brand. Feels a bit like moisturized and tacky and not silicone. It does did say silicone free, but it's not like it feels more like just adding moisturizer and it feels slightly tacky, which could be good. I am gonna use this foundation for the first time today. I'm gonna use it with a sponge that is not clean, but at least wet. This is the Natasha Denona Foundation X Plus. This is a full coverage foundation with a fruit uh, fruit complex. I have mine in 25W, which should be a warm undertone, beige clair. I uh, don't know why I bought this in warm. I'm, I'm guessing I was hoping to use this. Let me put my ring back on. I was hoping to use this when I have a bit of a tan. I did use a little bit of self tanner, just a little bit, so that I could get a better match with this. I think this will be a better match now than it was <laughs> before the self tanner. This foundation I bought myself. It's very liquidy. Doesn't really smell like anything. So the next like upcoming weeks I am leaving, I am filming this on the, do, 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 the 28th and I am leaving in two days. I'm leaving for San Francisco. When you are seeing this I'm actually in San Francisco having a bit of a vacation and if you're seeing this and wondering what happened, didn't you want to go like on a bit of a shopping thing uh, in San Francisco, uh, I will announce that in my community tab. Uh, might already have done that uh, or it's coming in like the next day or so uh, because I told you that there might be a chance that I will be going um, shopping on the 6th on Monday because I am going to be without my fiance that day so um, if you want to meet up and have a bit of shopping I'll put some info about that uh, on my community tab and probably on Instagram and Twitter as well once we get a bit closer but if you're wondering about that I'm not going to be talking more about that in this video because when I'm filming this I don't have more details but I'll put it I'll put it in the community tab. You can find the community tab if you go back to my like my homepage here on YouTube. There is a tab that's called community. If you go in there, you can find a couple of posts by me uh, if you want to get more info. I do have a little bit of a breakout here and I do feel like it's covering up. <laughs> can you see it? I have like a hormonal breakout uh, because I, I mean, I think it's a mix between a hormonal breakout and like a stress breakout because I have been very stressed these past couple of weeks. I've been having a lot to do, not only like YouTube, but like real life and just like my job and everything. And I just, it's been a lot lately. And that's also why I am taking a bit of a break and not like, I'm not quitting YouTube. I love YouTube and that's why I have been uploading so much, even though uh, I have been feeling stressed because this is where I come where I need a break from the things that are stressful because YouTube uh, is something I do for fun. This is this is my happy place. This is what I do for fun. How do I feel about this foundation? It's definitely not like a full, full coverage. I would say that this is maybe more of an editorial full, full coverage, but it does really even out my skin tone in a nice way. And it makes my skin look really nice. It was nice to and easy to blend. And I would say that this is a good uh, match for me now that I have a bit of a tan. I just got a shade too dark for my non 
non-self tanner Angie but as you can see a warm shade I hope it shows a warm shade really matches my skin as soon as I get a little bit of tan on my skin tone does lean very warm so I do feel like this is looking really really nice and it's like not looking cakey at all I will zoom you in a bit at the towards the end so you can see the end result but it's actually looking really it's looking like my skin I bought this foundation because Linda Halberg, um, who is like one of my favorite influencers, she said that this was one of her foundations and I bought it on Black Friday sale for 25% off on Sephora in Sweden and I'm loving how this is looking on my skin. It's looking so, so, so nice. Wow. And it doesn't feel like powdery, but it also doesn't feel tacky. It, it feels like skin and no transfer blown away by the fact this looks like my skin but better god i hope this like maintains like this i am so impressed so far i will of course get back to you in an upcoming video like telling you how this like wore and all of that but so far that's impressive Impressive. Okay, I'm gonna use the UA Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. Um, I wanted to do also a video with me using other people's favorite products of the year. So I'm probably gonna use this in that video as well because I know, I, I've heard from you also. I know that Bailey Serian said that this was her favorite concealer of the year, but I also heard that you told me in the comments that other people also said that this was their, was their favorite concealer. I'm gonna watch more of those favorite videos uh, probably <laughs> while going to uh, San Francisco and see if I can uh, find some more products and do a full face. Cause you seem to really like that idea. This is in chiffon. I'm pretty sure that this is a light, warm this seems to be a good shade so i'm gonna be taking ooh, i'm gonna be taking a little bit of a break not quitting youtube i'm just taking a break i just need to just be at first i thought i was gonna film while i was in san francisco but i have decided that i am not gonna do that that is very high coverage i love how yellow that is though because like i told you before that really goes with my skin when i have a bit of a tan and uh, i'm not gonna be filming i thought i was but i I'm just gonna take a little break. That is some high coverage. Whoa, sir. Oh my god, I don't know if I've ever used a concealer with this kind of coverage. Honestly, I think this is the most full coverage concealer I've ever used in my life. I feel like I needed even less. I'm really gonna get that Kim Kardashian like light under eye because I thought I needed to use and I don't use that much concealer. I mean, for some people might think that I do, but it, compared to like some of like the beauty gurus on this platform, I don't use that much concealer, but I still used too much. And this is extremely full coverage. But it looks really nice. Okay, let me blend this out. I look like a doll. <laughs> I do like it though, a lot. I'm gonna have to bronze up a bit. I didn't buy a new bronzer. I think I wanna buy a new bronzer. I haven't bought a new bronzer in a really long time. I just never seem to try any bronzers, but I want to. So maybe, maybe getting a new bronzer could be something for me. That is a really impressive concealer, I have to say. Very impressive. I'm gonna do my uh, brows. Oh, stop, 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 stop. I'm gonna do my brows and I'm just gonna use my Nabla uh, press powder. This is in light. Um, really like this. I mentioned this as one of my favorites of this year, and uh, I'm gonna use that to set my uh, to set my under eyes, but not my skin, because I'm gonna use uh, this one when I come back, like a second impression. And I'll fix my eyebrows and I'll do some eye primer because I don't have anything new with that. And I'll come back and I'll talk a bit about how long my break is gonna be and all of that. My skin is looking so okay i am back i did my eyebrows i did some eye primer i used the sigma one as i always use um i powdered under my eyes and it turned a bit creepy with the powder and i don't know i'm gonna see if i can try this maybe without a powder or with a different powder next time because i feel like with this powder uh, and this is the powder i really like though this is the um the nabla powder so i don't know if it, 
Listen, it's my under eyes. They're crepey. This is what happens. I've been trying to not powder lately, but I do need to powder a little bit and just, ooh, I don't know. That's what I'm going with. I don't know. I'm going to use a bit of the Jaclyn, uh, the luminous powder. This is a loose setting powder that has a bit of a luminous finish. I'm going to use that on my face. I don't need to, um, I don't need to like set. I'm using my Nabla brush this time because I like this Nabla brush a lot more than I like the brush that came with this powder or that came in the bundle that I bought. So I'm just using this a bit where I want to be a bit luminous. Okay, so I am gonna I'm gonna not upload probably while I'm away. I might tomorrow uh, film like a video or two just to have while I'm gone, but it's not gonna be, there might not even be one video a week while I'm gone, because I just, I just, I just wanna do something else. I just, I just wanna be on vacation. I don't wanna think about YouTube. I don't wanna think about work. I don't wanna think about home. I just wanna be, I just wanna be on vacation and be away and that's, that's it. That's all, that's all I want. This powder really makes my skin look really nice. I have to say, this is my favorite product out of the ones that um, that was in the Jaclyn thingamajiggy. If you want to see me use the products, I do have a video trying all of the products from the collection. If you want to see how I feel about them and how they look on my skin, that video is already live on my channel. Um, I'm going to use a bronzer. I'm going to use the bronze booster because I don't have a new bronzer. I probably want to have a new bronzer though. Let me see if maybe I can buy one when I was in, I'm in US. And that's the thing, I just wanna, I, I don't like mind going if when I go like shopping and spending a day with you, maybe doing something fun. Uh, I still am a bit weary about doing like a public meetup, but I thought that maybe if we do it in like a mall, um, at least we're like in the mall. <laughs> and I don't know how much time I'll have either. Maybe I'll just have a couple of hours where where I can go shop and if no one shows up, I mean, then it's only gonna be me, but at least then I'm in a mall and I can go shopping. <laughs> I just hit pan. Do you see that? I just hit pan. <clears throat> okay, so I hit pan on this. Good for me. See, this is why I need a new bronze. I'm hitting pan on the ones I have. I bought two new um, blushes in the Black Friday sale. Uh, I bought the Duo Glow in Alba. This is the one I'm going to be using, the Natasha Denona. I've been so looking forward to using it. But I also bought the Lynx Blush Light from Melt. This is really, really pretty and I am looking forward to using that in the future as well. So, But I think I'm going to use this one today because I've just uh, been dying to try this one. And it's not like I'm, I'm not like upset with, ooh, I'm not upset with like YouTube and I don't want to quit or anything like that. But sometimes you just need a little break and not just a break like, oh my God, YouTube is so annoying. I don't want to be uploading and blah, blah, blah. Any of that, no. Just I need, I need a break from everything. It's been a lot lately. I mean, I do a lot of like commuting to, oh, I love this. Oh, I love this formula. It's so pretty. I do a lot of commuting to my to my job and that takes a lot of time and of course I do have a full-time job that is something totally different than what I do here on on YouTube so I just feel like sometimes I'm, I'm out of time I'm out of time to just to just be and that's what I'm gonna be doing <laughs> this week I'm just gonna be uh, and I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to just being honestly I, I really am this is looking so How's the eye primer? I'm gonna use the, this is called Glow Burst. This is from the BD uh, Times Colourpop. This is a super shock highlighter. It is a bit like marble. I don't know if you can see maybe. It's really, really pretty. I'm looking forward to using this a lot. So I am gonna be, oh my God, I'm so excited. I love the super shock highlighters and I love that this is marble and I love that this is new. I haven't had a new super shock highlighter in about, in about six months and this is my favorite formula and I just oh my god it's so pretty it's like a pale pinky peach wow that color is stunning such a pretty color like, and I really love this formula I hope they never stop with this this is not as like extreme high shine as some of the other super shock highlighters that I have but that could be a good thing because sometimes you just want something to look a bit more not like 
what do I want to say, like not like super sparkly or shiny. Maybe you just want to look like you actually just have good skin. <laughs> we'll say though that my skin has been a bit dry lately and I can see that while applying this that my skin is not just a bit dry and flaky. I'm gonna try and not swipe too much and just dab on instead. I don't know why my skin has been so dry because it hasn't really been cold in Sweden. It has to be something with my skin that's just changing. You can see how it feels now that we're in San Francisco because it has been quite cool here in Sweden. So we'll see if it's different in San Francisco. I bought two new lip colors. I bought the Dose of Colors Desert Suede and I bought the I Need a Nude in Noah. And I feel like I want to use the Noah shade. I'm just going to go get a lip liner and I'm also going to fetch some eyeshadows. I don't have a new eyeshadow to use because I want to do a separate video on the Colourpop one. Let me use a bit of, a bit of setting spray. Just used the Gerard Slay all day. I wish I could ask you, like, what eyeshadow should I use? I wish I could ask you. Let me go fetch some eyeshadows. I do have a bunch of pencils. <laughs> and I'm gonna do some lip liner and I'll come back and hopefully I brought some eyeshadows. What do I wanna use? Okay, how's my eye primer? I think it's doing quite okay. I decided to use the Soul Bloomy. I think I'm gonna use the Dreamy 2 together with it. These are Nabla palettes. Because I never did do a look on my channel with this palette, so I thought I'd do something and then maybe darken it up a bit, but I don't know. We'll see what I do. I'm gonna put the lip color on first. Uh, this is the I Need a New from Natasha Denona in Noah. That is a stunning like milk chocolate color. It is like a mid-tone nude on me. It's not like a pale nude, but I didn't want it to be either. So I'm, I'm actually really happy with that. Um, that's looking really pretty. I am gonna, what am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna use this one, Bolero here, and I'm gonna see if I can do like a halo eye. If I have like time and energy tomorrow to film, because this is going up on New Year's Eve and I will have uploaded uh, one video a day for the entire of December and also like one week of no November because I started doing it in November and I never announced me doing like a like a vlogmas or anything like that uh, because I never had any intent of doing that. But then I just had so many ideas of things I wanted to film, things I wanted to do, that just ended up being that, even though I didn't, didn't plan to do that. So I ended up uploading every day of December, and then when I got to Christmas, I was like, why, why not just commit to it? So I decided to do some videos in like the days between Christmas and New Year's as well, uh, that I thought I might have as like, pre-filmed for like when I was going away, but now I don't really have anything pre-filmed. So unless I really feel like uh, filming tomorrow, I will not have any videos up while I'm gone. But if I feel like filming tomorrow, there might be a video or two uh, live whilst I'm gone. But I hope you understand why I just do not want to stress about this and I don't want to like pre-film and pre-edit and all those things that I usually do before I go on vacation. I just feel like, I mean, I deserve a little break. I am pretty like hard working when it comes to YouTube. I always upload all the days I should upload. I never miss an upload. I never take any kinds of breaks at all, to be honest. So I just feel like it's gonna be nice to not think about everything and I don't, see YouTube as like a burden or something that's stressful but it's just like now I just want to not think about anything including YouTube I just want to be for a little bit and uh, like I said life has been a bit stressful lately and sometimes you just like want to do like that and just be I think I said that already in this video that is that is where I'm at right now in my life, where I'm just repeating myself. I haven't thought anything about what kind of makeup I will be packing for San Francisco. Like, do I want to do my own palette? Do I want to bring a palette? Or like, what do I want? What do I want to do? I don't really know actually. Should I have thought about this? Probably. 
I'm actually gonna use the uh, the latex shadow offline from this palette. It is like a plummy shade and I thought that that could be cool to deepen up this one with and to <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like wrecking the place and really making this a nice halo eye because it's so purple. And I'm looking forward to coming back and filming more when I come home. I, I, I always love filming and I always love planning and all about that. The only part I don't really love that much about YouTube is editing. It just takes so much time and I still don't feel like it ends up being that great. Although I will say I have been trying really hard lately to like get better at editing and I'm so happy some of you have noticed. I have really been looking up like how you do different things and been trying to get better. I also bought a mic for my camera um, but I'm not using it today because I actually forgot to buy, <laughs> I forgot to buy batteries. Oopsie. So I haven't, uh, I haven't tried that one yet so that's gonna be once I get home from San Francisco I'll be able to uh, try that a bit because I, I do want to like I do want to improve my quality I want to be better but just the editing part is so boring so that's why I just ugh, as soon as I like think about like having to learn new things when it comes to editing and stuff it just becomes so ugh because I don't want to I'm gonna use a bit more of that bolero and just blend I did do a video this week as well that was um ranking all my Nabla palettes and I did include these two palettes of course because I do own all of the Nabla palettes so if you want to see that that is actually live on my channel if you want to see um oops what I thought about them who is really turning dark behind me let me see if I can use some of these shades under my eyes as well okay so what do I want to have in my I either want to have this one the honey drip or do I want to have the philosophy do I want to have the peach or the more greeny, like turquoise? Do I want to have the peach? Let me do the greeny one. Let me first put it on my pants and then let's do the greeny one. I am spraying it because I want it to be, ooh, I want it to be super precise and I also want this to be opaque. And since this is more of a duochrome, I personally feel like the duochrome really comes out if you spray it looks really light I will say together with these shades maybe I'll just put some with my arm with my finger in the middle yeah that really amps it up a bit I think I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this up and I'm gonna do some lashes uh, I am using the Sasha ones I just bought these from Huda Beauty they look very much like the iconics from House of Lashes I actually never used the Sasha but I saw them in store and I was like oh these look so much like the iconics and the iconics are more affordable but they were sold out in the store where I can buy them, so I bought these instead. So let me put these on and we'll do some, some, some colored liner. Okay, so the lashes are on and they look so nice. They do look like the Iconics. Uh, the Iconics are a teensy bit easier to manipulate the bands on though, so I do like those a bit more, but these are really, really nice. I'm gonna use a pen in my waterline. <laughs> That's the only step I have left and I bought six during the Black Friday sale. I love having a color pen in my waterline. I think I'm gonna go with this one, like a light turquoise. I feel like that could go really well since there's a slight like turquoise tint to this. These are the uh, LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liners and this one is in... Fresh. Only took me like seven hours to fix. Wait. <laughs> okay, so let me see if I can put this in. This is what I imagine that Colourpop Sulu would be, but it's not. The Colourpop liners are so weird because some of them are so good. Like the Prance one is like the best pen I have in my entire collection. Then some like Sulu is so bad, but this one is really pretty. It was really creamy and opaque and it went on really nice. I thought since I have a top like this today, I'm also going to use this Soul Body. This is the body brand uh, from Colourpop. I'm going to use their uh, body powder. I've only used this on my face, but it is a body powder after all, so... So why don't I use it as it's intended to be used? I'm also going to use it together with the sponge that came with it. I got this sent to me as PR, but I also bought one of these myself, like the 
idiot I am, so I have one and I also, like, I have one to give away. So I'm gonna do that in a bit. Do I need to wet this? How am I supposed to? Ooh, wait. That is stunning. Maybe it's a bit too dark for my skin tone. Because I bought this to have as a glowy blush. I don't know if I can get away with this as a, as a body highlighter with just a little bit of self-tan. Although when, when I blend it out, it just turns into like a really nice like pinky sheen. And I am uh, using uh, the sponge dry and this is the sponge that came with this. Maybe this pink champagne. I bought this to be used as a glowy blush, like I said. Uh, but I think that if you have like a medium skin tone or if you have like more of a um, red undertone or like a an undertone that would go with more like a pinky gold like that, I think it would be really pretty. It looks really nice and glowy, but it is a bit too pink in uh, the undertone. You can see that on the sponge, but sponge looks really nice. I mean, this does look better on the skin than it does in the face, not gonna lie, but yeah, I kind of like that. It looks really good. Have I talked about everything I wanted to talk about? I don't know. <laughs> but I just wanted to... First of all, I wanted to try a bunch of new makeup and I like all of it. I will say the concealer looked better before I set it with a powder. So next time I use it, I'm going to try a different kind of powder or maybe no powder at all. But other than that, I liked all the things I tried. And my skin... Wait, now I have my autofocus on. My skin looks so good and you can see under my eyes that it's a bit crepey from the concealer when I use like the uh, the powder but other than that this is looking so good everything is looking so good I think at least in real life I hope it comes off like that um, in the like in the camera as well but this foundation is making my skin look amazing not gonna lie totally amazing yeah, this video is a reminder to you that the first two weeks of January, there might be zero videos, there might be one video, there might be two videos. I don't know right now, but I don't have any plans because I am off on vacation and that's basically going to be it, to be honest. I am coming back to Sweden on the 9th, but I'm also going away on another, <laughs> another thing on the 10th and 11th and I also have a baby shower on the 12th. So don't expect, to be honest, anything <laughs> from me the first two weeks of January. There probably, if anything, there, there, there might be like a video or two, but to be fair, there might be ooh, there might be zero videos. To be honest, there might be zero videos, and I'm I'm fine with that. And I I hope I hope you will stay with me. I hope you come back and watch me again when I come back. I'll go back to my normal uploading schedule, uh, which is four videos a week, which is still a lot. I'll do that when I come back. I do have a lot of ideas I want to do. I just need to just need to have a breather. Thank you so much for being with me throughout this December. I had so much fun filming so much and uploading so much and seeing your comments and it's just been so, so much fun. I'll try and do a video talking a bit about my New Year's resolutions for 2019 and maybe make some new for 2020 because I do know that I did a video like that in the beginning of last year. So I thought maybe I'll do one this year as well. I just need to I do remember some of them in my like in the back of my head, but I also need to rewatch the video and see what are the stupid things I promised that I was gonna do throughout this year. But yeah, the look is finished. I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna film my new makeup releases. That one has already gone up. There's not gonna be a video tomorrow. There might be some videos the upcoming two weeks, but if not, please come back when I come back. I'd love to see you again. I'm just just taking a little breather. Have a good day, and I will see you soonish. Bye.